So if you're watching this video, you've probably heard about some of the drama that's been happening on YouTube with what is known as the adpocalypse that really started in 2017, went through multiple phases, and then even the recent policy change that has been affecting a lot of smaller creators, affecting revenue, and then there's always constant changes with YouTube's algorithm and things like that. And so it brings up the question, what are the best ways to earn and make money on YouTube in 2018? And recently, we did a deep dive YouTube masterclass going through a lot of different tips and strategies for YouTube, but part of that training was on three specific ways to earn $1,000 per month on YouTube and a lot of case studies of creators like you and like me that are crushing it in creative ways to really build their income. So let's jump into the training right now from that masterclass and then I'll see you right after the content. Let's talk about three creative ways to earn an extra $1,000 per month on YouTube. Three creative ways to earn an extra $1,000 per month on YouTube. And I'm excited to talk about YouTube ads first, right? So you've probably been here for a while and I would love, I mean, if you've been here for a while, maybe you already have a YouTube channel, you're already doing some YouTube ads. This might be some um, uh, repeat a bit, but let's just go through it. This is how they work. The typical CPM, it could be different in different areas, different niches, different places around the world. And CPM means cost per milli. It essentially means that you get $2, this is the average, for every thousand views you get. It's important to know this math because then if you just think about how much income you'd want to earn if you were only focusing on YouTube ads, just do the math, right? So that's the average. It might be less. Sometimes it could be a lot more and we actually have a good example of that. So if your goal is to earn $1,000, you would need a half a million views to get $1,000. Now, I really want to hit this hard. You might be here and you've already heard about the policy change for, um, for the monetization program on YouTube. If you haven't heard about it, what YouTube did to combat some controversy with ads showing up on videos that weren't really advertiser friendly, they've changed the program to now, to be a part of it, you need 4,000 hours of watch time and you need 1,000 subscribers over the past year. Now, I've heard people saying, I understand this is discouraging for some, but I've heard some people saying outrageous things, saying like, YouTube is dead, the ship is sinking, oh my gosh, now it's impossible to succeed on YouTube. That, there couldn't be anything further from the truth based on this fact. But let's just do the math of these numbers. So let's assume, and I understand this is just rough, but let's assume, because it is kind of an average on YouTube, that the watch time of any video is about three minutes. So if the average view equals three minutes, I understand this is not perfect, but it's just illustrative. I know you're with me. If the average view is three minutes. To get 4,000 hours of watch time, you would need 240,000 minutes. This is to disqualify for the YouTube AdSense program. So you would need 80,000 views. Got it? So that's a lot, but it is manageable. And here's what your income would be off of a $2 CPM, $160. And here's just kind of what I wanna say. For people, like I don't wanna minimize that $160 is important money, but if you're willing to give up on your dreams for $160, well then you probably shouldn't be going for this anyways. Because you, like, let's play a bigger game here. Can I just talk straight? Let's realize that like, that's just gonna be a drop in the bucket of your journey on YouTube, that you can get through that initial curve and, and realize that like the, the math on even what you would earn by the time you got to that place is 160 bucks. Like just go get a job and make the money somewhere else. You probably already have a job and focus on building your influence and monetizing in other ways because that's really just what it breaks down to, right? That's what it, what it takes to get through that initial push. So ultimately, YouTube is my least favorite way to, um, or YouTube ads, is my least favorite way to earn money on YouTube. And something that for years, I just considered as like a tip jar. I was like, I'm just not gonna focus on it because it doesn't add up to that much. But if you wanna do this, the key strategy would be to get a lot of views. Maybe that's obvious. But again, that's the way, if you're gonna make money with YouTube ads, you need tons and tons of views. The good news is, there's tons of people crushing it that have small views but they're monetizing in other ways. And that is uh, our goal here. But I promised you, right, some case studies. James, he's from uh, Ecom Insiders, part of our program called Video Ranking Academy. Um, he, look at this, he got $1,000, a little bit over of earnings in a month's time. 
um, and only on 162,000 views. I just wanna illustrate this because he has an extremely high CPM. I said normally 1,000 views gets $2. He gets about $15 for every um, 1,000 views. Why? Because of the niche that he's in. And we, can't, we don't have much time to go very deep into this, but one thing to do with YouTube ads is if you can really niche your channel down and go into certain niches that have higher CPMs, you can start earning some decent money. But check this out. By the way, I have to say this, and we have a bunch of case studies in this. These results uh, you know, are not typical. These results take hard work, action, any of the illustrations in this are here for illustrative purposes. They're not, not a pro. I know you, you know I'm not promising you that this is what you can make, but it's not a promise of what you can earn. Because also, I don't know if you're going to take action or not. Like, I don't know what your circumstances are, where you're starting, if you're even going to post videos, right? But saying that, check, check out what James said. My ad revenue accounts for about 3% of my income on social media. Let that sink in. This is exact, one of the biggest things I want you to get in this masterclass. I want you to stop thinking, honestly, small, just about YouTube ads, trying to get views and subscribers. I want you to think bigger about playing a bigger game, building a business around yourself and around your YouTube channel. And like, I mean, you do the math yourself. James is killing it, right? Like, and we'll talk about kind of how later, but um, you know, just 3% of his income is coming from ads, right? And here's my YouTube journey back around 2013. Um, as I was going into that year, here's YouTube ads. I made about $66 one month. But that same month, what you can see here, because um, you get paid out three months later on affiliate marketing, just so you know for um, the continuity of that. Look, 4X higher. So YouTube ads did about $66, but when I was just starting, I did $259 with affiliate marketing that month. So here's the thing, if the policy change was happening then, I would have been bummed that I didn't get that $66, but it doesn't have to stop you. Like no one is stopping you. That's something to like, keep in mind. You can just crush it, go all in, monetize in different ways. So the second way I wanna talk about is affiliate marketing because it's, it's literally the best, in my opinion, way to get started, especially if you don't have a product yet, you don't have something else happening yet. Amazon Associates is a great one. There's Amazon in multiple different countries um, that you can sign up for to be a part of their associate program. And again, we mentioned this. You sign up, you start getting custom links, you can put them in your uh, YouTube description, and then you can make money. And so here's a, a, an example of somebody who's part of our community, Jabin. He's got a barbecue channel. And so he's got this video, best like barbecue accessories, gifts for dad, and he'll promote it during Father's Day and stuff. So he just does a video. There he is, sitting on his porch. Talks about he loves barbecue. Again, he's building uh, income around his passion, right? A business around his passion. And he's got his affiliate links in the description below. And with affiliate marketing, Jabin is, uh, has done, it's actually way more now, but so he's kind of older numbers. $500 Canadian, he's in Canada. Um, he's done about $100 on other affiliate programs. And here's another cool thing, it's just a bonus. When you build up your channel in a specific, a specific niche, you can start getting free product. And because he loves uh, barbecue and his barbecue channel, he actually has a meat sponsor. He gets free meat. He uh, has gotten free, except he got a free grill. They started sending him, it's, it's a lot more than that too, a lot of free product from that. Of course, I know many of you, in fact, I'd love to hear what niche are you in? Post that in the comments, um, what your niche is. And uh, Kimberleya um, it is you know doing different things on her channel. Here's like a, a video about nail tutorials. And then of course in her YouTube description, she links to the nail polish, right? Um, so what niche are you in? Like what is your topic? You know, Kimberleya, now I think she does tech accessories. Jabin's doing barbecue. George, I see, is in traveling and health. Lynn, women's clothing. Renee, indie games. Alma, and travel. I love it. And so, um, uh, lots of different niches. And here's the thing, this works in any niche. This is Heather, she has a homeschool channel. And look at this, three best books for homeschool moms. And she's earning money with uh, affiliate income. And I think she didn't even post, or maybe only posted one video in this last month, but it earned something like $50 because she had some videos out there. And so that's really cool. So a power tip is there's an affiliate program for pretty much everything. Like just check, you can just Google it. Like Google the brand you love and type in affiliate or associate or um, 
ambassador program. And so this is Timothy and he's got a tech channel. He's got a lot of videos on drones. And so again, he's building his influence. He's got good subscribers, good views, but his channel's not huge. So you might think, well, man, if he doesn't have a huge channel, he can't be making big money. Well, aha, well, let's check it out. And so with affiliate marketing, here's, this seems insane to me, but check this out. This is his DJI uh, affiliate program. Fifteen thousand dollars, you know. Now I have to say again, like results are not typical, but this is real, right? Like, think about that. Just and that's just one program. So Timothy is doing Amazon. He's doing other affiliate programs. But we're that's some serious coin, right? From affiliate marketing, that again, not based on YouTube views. You got to get views if you ultimately are going to do it, but not because of YouTube ads. So post in the comments what is one affiliate video idea that you could do related to your niche. Here's a couple examples like product reviews make the most sense or five examples here, product tutorials, like showing someone how to use it and then you can link to it. Favorites videos like, hey, here's my January favorites. I'm sure in the beauty lifestyle niche, those really lend themselves. Hey guys, I'm linking to everything in the description below. Best of videos, comparison videos. There's actually literally probably hundreds, but those are some of the best ones. But I'd love to hear from you. What is an affiliate video that would be specifically like, good for affiliate marketing that you could probably, um, you know, work on. And so, you know, even Didi says, well, my, my niche, my niche is comedy, my niche is comedy. So there's really not necessarily affiliates, you know, potentially, but at the same time, um, you get to shape your content. And so if you did a, you know, a Saturday show about favorites, if you did, again, if you want to earn income, you might need to reverse engineer the strategies. Does that make sense? I mean, at the end of the day, like, if you want to create a path to income, then go down the path that leads to income. And so we can talk about that a little bit later in Q&A, but I think there's a lot of things you could include. Keep in mind, you always have a blank slate for what shows, what videos, what episodes you're doing on your YouTube channel. And so definitely post some ideas and, be, and don't just post them. This is a masterclass. There's a reason I want you to take notes. If you, if you want, <coughs> excuse me, Put out, grab your calendar, grab your phone, and schedule when you're going to shoot this video. Because again, I don't want to just communicate some information on this thing. I want you to get some results. I want you to build your income. And the way you're going to do that is by taking massive action, right? And so um, different types of affiliate marketing examples. Number three, you can sell something. And by the way, you should sell something. Even if you're just starting or you haven't started yet, I want you thinking about this from day one. I want you thinking about this right now. In 2018, I want you to be thinking about this because again, same thing. I love that question. You came in, why well, have a comedy channel and I do story time. If you're going to build a business model around your YouTube channel, you have to build a business model around your YouTube channel. <coughs> Excuse me, Sean, the profound sentences. Well, I know it's not profound, but ultimately, again, if you want to build a business model around your YouTube channel, you just got to actually do it. And selling something is a great way. For example, merch, right? And so I asked in our uh, private Facebook group, what are some of the merch things you guys are doing? Someone has a journal, someone's doing shirts. Jabin, we mentioned him. He's doing his own line of barbecue rubs that he sells locally and seasonally. Tim is an artist. So he is selling his oil paintings. So t-shirts, accessories, art, creative. We're talking about how to build your income by actually creating and selling something. Uh, got love, they're Las Vegas vo vloggers here in our city. Um, and they've got this awesome vlog channel, but they created their Got Love shirts. And by the way, really easy to set up. They just went to teespring.com, uploaded some artwork, and now they have merch. So this doesn't have to be like some crazy, like, wait, create something, my gosh. Like, what are you talking about? It could just be simple things that start building your income a lot faster than other ways. I um, wrote a book a few years back called YouTube for Churches. And I mean, honestly, it was just an ebook. It never, it never was actually printed. I wrote it in Microsoft Word. I had a friend edit it named Rachel and I just paid her. I don't even know if I paid her. Thank you, Rachel. Um, but she helped me, you know, proof it and edit it. It had some great content on it. I just Googled how to do it and I uploaded it to Amazon. And next thing you know, I've got a $6 ebook and it's about 100 pages long. And as I had YouTube videos and content around it, you know, selling a copy a day or so could lead to $186 a month. 
And that's just one thing. You could do eBooks, you could do shirts, you could do merch. What is the business, excuse me, that you could build around your channel? Eileen is a good example. She's full time. So her and her husband are doing kind of personal development full time, but her channel is not huge. It's not even getting thousands of views. It's getting like hundreds, but yet she's full time. Why? Because she's got a book, The Brave Body Method. It's like a body comp uh, confidence, self-acceptance book. She's got some courses, some things she's created. So again, what is the business model? Even if you don't have clarity on this now, this is how I want you thinking. James, you know, we learned about him earlier. He's, his ad revenue is only 3% of his income because he's doing e-commerce. That's like Shopify, other things. And now this might seem extreme, but there's like a screenshot of like one of his daily revenue at like $1,700. That's not because he's using YouTube to try to be famous like Jake Paul or Logan Paul. He's using YouTube to build his influence, even with a small audience. By the way, his channel is not big at all, but yet he's crushing it because he's built a business model. So remember this question, what skills do I need to survive and thrive in the new economy? You might be like, well, this sounds hard, but keep in mind, you got this, like be confident. Everybody I talked about at one time had no idea how to do any of this stuff. Eileen didn't know how to write a book. I didn't know how to write a book. James didn't know how to do e-commerce. Got Love didn't know how to make shirts, right? Everybody started with zero and everybody started not having the skills they need. But the point of this masterclass is to identify, okay, so... I need to study this more. I should go deeper on this, right? I should maybe pick one of these paths and learn more about it. So I have a question, you know, have you started any of these income strategies yet? Or maybe do you have other income strategies that you're focusing on that we haven't talked about? Definitely post that in the comment section. But then here's a power tip is YouTube income stacking. And this is like um, where you can then take these and stack them together. And what I've actually learned is that the influencers, the people on YouTube, the entrepreneurs that are crushing it the most are not just having one or two streams of income, but they have multiple streams of income. And that's really how they go side, part-time, full-time on income uh, on YouTube. And so there's other ones we didn't talk about, crowdfunding, merchant products. There's tons actually, but uh, brand deals. When you add those together, they could begin to add up to something uh, significant. So the power tip here is strategically build multiple streams of income this year around your YouTube channel.